let me say that PET CT is now a very essential part of the management of cancer. It provides what we call functional information about the tumor. It is not so much for the anatomy because we can see the anatomy very precisely with CT, with MRI. The advantage of the PET CT that it combines anatomy plus physiology plus biochemistry. Let's take a patient with rectal cancer who was treated by radiation, chemotherapy and surgery and now comes back to us with certain symptoms and we are not sure whether these symptoms are related to a recidive recurrence of the cancer or is it fibrosis induced by the surgery, radiation that gives the symptoms and you do a CT and you see some mess in the area but you don't know is it tumor or is it just fibrosis with no cancer. PET CT is an optimal test because if there is tumor in that location there will be uptake because the tumor is active is using the glucose that we inject, radioactive glucose, and it will sh be shown on the PET scan. If there is no uptake, so most probably there is no cancer there, there is just fibrosis, and you don't need to do nothing, you just follow the patient. PET is not a screening procedure, not today, maybe in the very long future, but today PET is for diagnostic purposes, not for screening purposes. Unlike simple tests, PET CT means that you need to have very good quality of, uh, along the whole process. Producing the isotope in the cyclotron should be done by expert people who know precisely what they do and that you get really the source, the radioactive source properly and uh, according to all the features that are required. Then you need to calibrate the machine, the PET scanner. You need to know how to do the study properly. It's not just inject and see, no. There are certain very rigid protocols how to perform the test precisely so that the results will be reliable. So the answer is very positive. You need skilled people and good technology. Let's start, it's not painful. It's a simple procedure. In terms of radiation, yes, there is exposure to radiation. So this is why you do the test, but the, uh, uh, let's say that the amount of radiation is small, it's not dangerous. Actually, the danger of radiation is, I would say, zero or close to zero. So you need to select the situation where you do the PET CT. You don't do it to everybody. You should do it according to the clinical requirements and clinical indications. So altogether, I think doing PET in uh, PET CT in uh, Lissod is equivalent to doing PET CT going elsewhere in the world. And I think that people living in Ukraine um, can get PET CT at Lissod and they don't need to travel outside of, of uh, Ukraine.